NTD has obtained three documents from Heilongjiang, a province at the Russian border. All three documents state this document is not for public viewing. Two of them are from April 13th. The first is a warning letter sent from the leading group for combating the epidemic in Heilongjiang province to its Harbin branch. The letter says Harbin has seen an outbreak of novel coronavirus and cases of community spread are increasing. The letter also says that on March 31st, 39 people in Harbin City tested positive. But according to the Heilongjiang CDC, from March 20th to the 31st, there were no confirmed cases in the province, even though Harbin is its capital city. The second letter from April 13th is a reminder from the group also sent to its Harbin branch, saying that family gatherings are strictly prohibited. Gatherings in public places near medical institutions and going outside together are also strictly prohibited. The third document is an April 17th letter from the group to all local CDC branches in the province. The document outlines requirements for the branches. One is to make sure that the figures in the daily cases report and the zero cases report are identical to the numbers online. The question is, if the numbers in both the reports and online are accurate, why is it necessary to make sure they are identical? On April 17th, a city in the Inner Mongolia Autonomous Area west of Heilongjiang closed its border to Heilongjiang and blocked all traffic. The city is the first in China to announce a closed border with the province. China is known for censoring free speech, but just how bad is it? A new ranking by Reporters Without Borders ranks China as the fourth worst country in the world. North Korea is the worst. The suppression of virus information has been taken into account this year. Members of the European Parliament are calling for the EU to hold China accountable for the defective medical equipment sent to European countries like Spain and the Netherlands. In the letter obtained by NTD, 10 members of Parliament are calling on the President of the European Commission to place checks on imports of medical gear, particularly those coming from China.